Hi, my name is Natalie Nanowski. I am a host and content producer here at Scotiabank, and I was kind of brought on to take those big financial topics and break them down in a digestible way so that people can make financial decisions. And that's what we're going to be doing here today with you, Judith. So my name is Judith Chan. I've been with Scotiabank for almost 20 years now. Um, I'm the lead portfolio manager for all of Scotia as well as Dynamic. Uh, multi-asset portfolio solutions. What are some of the key things we saw in the first quarter of 2021? Yeah, um, it, it's somewhat surprising, if you will. You know, we're in actually in a rapid expansion mode, and I wouldn't have believed it if you asked me a year ago. So obviously, pandemic, we have we were limited on the consumption of services, but our consumption of durable goods have increased. So our behavior has driven a lot of these changes. Um, but what we saw is global economies are firing on all cylinders on on economic growth, both in manufacturing and service activities. And the pace of growth is, uh, is also accelerating. We know that unemployment levels have gone down a little bit, but they're not sitting at the levels that we saw pre-pandemic. So what do the current unemployment levels mean for, for the recovery? Yeah, so we have seen a moderate improvement in unemployment level. And we, we do expect that as the activities reopen, you know, as we get out of this lockdown situation, uh, the unemployment will come down quite quickly, actually, but it may not come down completely to the pre-pandemic level because we expect some level of, of permanent scarring. If we're looking at the index in the stock markets, they're kind of breaking new highs every single day. Should we be worried? Is something like this even sustainable? Yeah, so overall I, on the stock market, I think we're still constructive. We're still early in the reopening uh, of, of activities. Uh, we also expect corporate earnings to rebound significantly and, you know, not just rebounding from what we lost in the pandemic, but also an expansion. Um, and we also have the central bankers and as well as the policymakers that are continuing to commit to very easy uh, policy decision and easing uh, policies. So all these will help boost asset prices further. Uh, but that said, you know, since we've had kind of outsides gains uh, in the last 12 to 18 months, um, our forward looking uh, returns assumptions and expectations should be a little bit lower compared to what we saw historically. And so what are the, I guess, top three things you would say people should watch out for? I mean, you mentioned some of them, but what are the top three things that we saw in the last quarter and that people should watch out for moving forward? Uh, the vaccine rollout is obviously accelerating globally um, and the pace of which will have an impact on how quickly activities can resume. So we're closely watching that. Another thing is um, earnings growth, like corporate earnings growth is going to be very significant. The market is actually expecting a historically high level of corporate earnings growth of over 40 percent. The third thing would be inflation levels, uh, the level of stimulus that we that we have and will continue to have is unprecedented. Um, but what we're watching for is uh, whether that is going to lead into a higher level of inflation than we, what we have seen in the past 10, 15 years. Overall, we're still bullish, but you know we need to be cautiously optimistic about this. 